We can subtract using a 10 frame. Let's take a look at the problem 7 minus 3 equals blank. This is our number sentence or our equation. First, we draw the seven red circles or counters inside of the 10 frame. We start with the biggest number or the first number in our number sentence. Next, you do the change, which is minus 3. We're taking away 3. Now we need to count how many we have left. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 circles left. And that is our answer. So we can read our equation or number sentence as 7 minus 3 equals 4. Okay, let's try that again. Our number sentence reads 10 minus 4 equals blank. The first thing you need to do is draw your 10 counters or your 10 circles. This is the first thing that you need to do when you're subtracting. Step two, now you need to take away, uh, you need to minus four. You're doing the next number, you're taking away four. And the last step is you're going to count how many you have left for your answer. We have one, two, three, four, five and six counters or six circles left and that is our answer. To read your completed equation or number sentence, you say 10 minus four equals six. You can even use a 10 frame to solve a word problem. Six birds sit on a branch. One bird flies away. How many birds are still on the branch? That is the question that you need to solve. Hmm, I know I'm taking away because I know that a bird flies away. It leaves. So I know this is still subtraction. I like to circle my numbers to help me think and see of the numbers I'm going to use in my equation. Check this out. Okay, so I have six birds that are sitting on the branch. That's what I started with. And in subtraction, I know that the first number is always the biggest number. Then I'm going to take away because I know one bird flies away. So one bird leaves. And my answer is how many birds are still on the branch? It's going to answer that question. So now that we have our number sentence or our equation all set up, we already know the steps we need to take. Step number one, draw how many you began with. Draw all the birds that are sitting on the branch in the beginning of the word problem. Nice job. The next part is what changes. One bird flies away, so I'm going to take away one. Easy peasy. To find my answer, how many birds are still on the branch, I just count how many red circles I have left. Let's see. Five. 
5. And I write that answer in the blank space. To read this completed equation or number sentence, you say 6 minus 1 equals 5. Okay, let's try this one together. Make sure you have your 10 frame ready to go. Now I'm going to read our word problem. A girl made six cupcakes. Then she ate one cupcake. How many cupcakes does she have left? Before you start drawing, let's circle our numbers so that we know what we're working with. We have six cupcakes in the beginning. She made six cupcakes. Then she ate one cupcake. And I'm looking for how many cupcakes she has left. You can already start to draw your circles and solve the problem, but I like to make the number sentence first. Six minus one, because she ate one, equals blank. Now I can get started on my drawing. One, two, six circles. And now I'm going to take away one. Using my tens frame, I can think and see how many I have left or how many the girl has left. If I count them, I can be sure of what number it is. I have, or she has, five cupcakes left. Did you get the same answer? Put a check mark and a happy face. Great work, friends. That was subtraction with a ton frame.